Okay. Yeah, we're gonna... okay. So uh, what happened was I was like one of the first, I think I was like the second student at the IWS dojo. Okay. And uh, the way it worked is when I, I, I lived downtown Toronto uh, for all my college years and a lot of my yeah. 20s. And um, there just wasn't a lot of wrestling. You didn't hear about it anyway. Oh, I think there was good. rules in place in Ontario that you needed special insurance. Oh, really? So they didn't have a lot of shows and they were downtown. It was never like advertised or posted and they didn't have shows. Like not like yeah. IWS in Montreal, because down, when you walk downtown and IWS shows happening, you, you know, there's a, there's a IWS show happening. That's, that's yeah, totally. Yeah. So when I moved to Montreal, uh, I had a studio and I started making friends at Ubisoft because I was okay. doing work at Ubisoft and they started bringing me to live shows and it sparked like, my whole love of wrestling from when I was a kid and I started doing posters and merch and t-shirts and all kinds of crazy stuff for Phantom and Shane Hawk and all those guys. And, uh, uh, Shane Hawk was like, Hey, we're opening a school. You're a big guy. Why don't you, you come train with us, you know, and him and I are close friends. We had been close friends for a few years after I moved to Montreal in 2012. And, uh, I just like, I was hooked like immediately i think it was my second practice match and really? i was just like because you have the, you have the you have the look of a wrestler you have the build of a wrestler you're six you're six foot two you know yeah there's, there's a, six, a, a over six footer is, is to me is an automatic like you're you're, you're a heavyweight you're 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 that guy and